A month before this time as candidates, the new chairman, who incidentally have all been elected on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, had slugged it out at the polls. The local government elections in Akwaibum, just as Governor Akwabio had promised, turned out to be peaceful, credible and highly participatory with a large turnout of voters. I thank God that you are able to move around to observe the election in almost all the wards of the state. It's not going to be easy for you to reach 329 wards, but you can spread yourself and try your best to capture everywhere. As the governor of the state, I'm interested in knowing the outcome of this electoral exercise. And I'll be very delighted to ensure that justice is done and that the elections were fair and free. Four or three. Okay, the election is, is going on smoothly. There's no problem. We've not encountered any problems so far. The thing is, is free and fair. At least people are coming out to vote. And we are still expecting other people to come. So it's okay. Time. The election is, in fact, after the accreditation, we voted, and the whole issue was free and fair. There was no problem at all. It's okay. Thank you. Unit one. In fact, since I have been here, there have been no problem, no trouble at all. And the election is going on smoothly, as you can see it. Welcome. Really, it's real free and fair election. And people are very happy because this election is from for the grassroots. You can see a number of people. Very many of them have gone so far. So the thing is so free and people enjoy it. This is because of how the go this government eh, behaves. Everybody likes this government. Apabio's government. We so enjoy it, we like it. Eh? And nearly everybody likes it. That is why you see the turn up. Since more, since that since seven o'clock, people were here. The queue here, they are going. Some of them are gone home to eat. They are coming back. Well, I'm seeing. Look, it's just like that. I don't think there is a harassment. I know for, for nobody is forced. Nobody is forced to do it. We will voluntarily. Mm. Thank you very much. <laughs> nobody is forced to do it, and you can see the situation is orderly. I think uh, who Jews will pick it for the day. It's peaceful here. No problem. The grace of God, this is my village, and this is my ward, and this is my unit. Uh, you, as you can see, I've, I've voted. The election, to be very sincere, is free and fair. Because we know that the candidate we have here, uh, it's all about credibility. And so that is why you can see everybody is coming out here to vote en masse. Uh, and we believe by, by the special grace of God, it is going to work out the way we want it to work out. Thank you. No, I'm so excited today because election is going on in our world, free and fair election. Uh, because we have an acceptable candidate for both chairmanship and councillorship elections. And we all are supporting those two uh, candidates. That's why they're excited. Mm. It's been wonderful. Since they are in high spirit, so everybody's working towards the same goal. Yeah. And uh, here we don't have problem. In this is as usual, we know how to conduct elections. We have been conducting other elections successfully. And this one is, going, is not going to be different in any way. So, yeah, thank you. Uh, so far, the conduct of elections in our ward has been very, very peaceful, free and fair. We've not recorded any incidents of uh, thuggery or violence or anything. As you can see, there is no problem. Everything is going on as planned, very peaceful. Well, I think it has to do with the fact that um, in our ward, there was proper voter education and people were properly mobilized. And um, the culture of impunity too, for a long time now, has not been there in our ward. So we've not had all these problems even when we had the last uh, election. I also want to commend uh, Akisiek for making sure that the materials arrived at the various units timely and um, everything intact. So far we've had no problem at all. You can see that I have voted and um, I am very grateful to God. First thing first for the weather. 
from the weather you would see that everything is going on peaceful here. The peace in this place is uh, unimaginable. You can see um, with all the development happening in the state, it's running like wildfire in people's mind, in their eyes, in everything. They are seeing it, they can see, they can feel it. Everybody wants to get involved. And I must give, I must give kudos to the governor. He's a peacemaker. Ah, it was free, it was very fair, and it is what we have always wanted. Free and fair election, which is what we have today in the, this world, which is Etienne and Urban World War. And uh, we hope every election turns out to be like this. Whenever we have an election, I hope it should be like this, because it was free of rancor, it was free of um, hatred, it was free of... It was very, very free. We are now in Norton Iman Ward 2 here in the Chilean local government area. And at exactly 3 p.m., we have the elections concluded here and collection of results is ongoing. The result is a total reflection of the will of the people because election here has been adjudged to be very free and credible. Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby present the June 9, 2012 local government elections results as follows. Abak, chairmanship candidates, BDP, and all the councillors, BDP. Eastern Obolo, Chairman has been returned BDP and all the councillors BDP. Eket, the chairman elected is from the BDP and all the councillors are of the BDP. Isreke, the chairman should be elected is from the BDP. Aquaibon people trust PDP. They trust their governor and they trust the state government. And they will know that they know that it is BDP that has made this to happen. And so, of course, they will naturally follow PDP. I'm still a bit, I do not know what happened in the, the, the few wards where we had other parties winning as councillors because they have no business uh, in a private state. Yes, I know that it's a democracy, but people, there is nobody that wants to change the winning team. PDP has been brought a winning strategy under Chief Gospel Akwaibo to Akwaibo State. And there's absolutely no way Akwaibo people want to change that. That's why. PDP won in all the, the uh, council elections. Back at the monumental banquet hall, Chief Akwabiu charged the new chairman to eschew all forms of corrupt practices and use their privileged positions to impact positively on the lives of the people. I have shown the way. As a people, our tradition of hard work, integrity, and honesty will remain our strength in this nation. These virtues should be reflected in your service to your people. As an administration, we expect this from you. We expect that you will not attempt to shortchange your people who have elected you. I want to charge you, therefore, not to see your election as chairman of council, particularly as an opportunity to corruptly enrich yourselves. I hope you listen to what I said. It will be a terrible thing. If any of you is a man in because you attempted to corruptly enrich yourself, 
instead of putting the money for the betterment of your people. So note that a good name is the greatest legacy you can leave behind for your generation. At a time when others have been worried at the apparent inability of the local government administrations to work, Chief Akbabu invited all to come and take a cue from Akwaibum, where local government chairmen are strategic partners in the uncommon transformation in the state. In Akwaibum, we said, local government elections, our local government system has not failed in Akwaibum. I must say that I'm very proud of the local government system in this state for the wonderful jobs they are doing at the grassroots level. I must particularly point out that, yes, the elected chairman of the those who served for three years did very well because of their good works, something that had never happened in the history of this state happened. Some of them have been re-elected. At times, a good leader's attribute is usually defined by his ability to inspire and carry everyone along. And in Akwaibum, the youths, elders, and the women have been encouraged to political positions, a far departure from arrangements in the past. Out of the 31 council chairmen, four are women, and many more are vice chairmen and secretaries. A record Akbabio attributes to the rallying prowess of his wife, Her Excellency, Mrs. Ekaite Unoma Akbabio, a political amazon and great mobilizer. Everyone present at the ceremony agreed with the uncommon transformation architect that expectations were high for the local government helmsmen to perform creditably like their governor. My advice to the new uh, local government chairmen that are coming is for them to continue with the uncommon transformation and make sure that in their respective local government, the work of the governor the work we have experienced for the past five years does not abate. It must go on and go on and go on. For them is to go and live up to expectation of the electorate because they were chosen and voted for to go and do the right thing. As much as possible to work with the elected councillors, carry them along and open up a very uh, good channel of information or communication with them so that they can have a, a, a council that will be each free uh, and uh, a council that will be able to run smoothly. For the incoming chairmen that are now leaders of their own government respectively, they have who to copy from. They have to uh, refer their issues to for, I would say, um, constructive, um, innovative, constructive and innovative uh, quality leadership. So I think my advice to them is resemble the state government and the governor. The level of sensitization of the populace 
to show more interest in governance. And the fact that the government currently has been in touch with the large majority of the people. We didn't used to have such a large crowd before. So it is this renewed interest in governance and the appreciation of what the state's governor has been doing that people have come out to back the new local government administrators. So we expect that they should be able to drive down to the grassroots democracy dividends and um, that people are going to work according to uh, what they have seen at the state level, what the executive governor has done alongside the executive and also what the the judiciary and the legislature are doing now in order to transform a quite state. You know this state is um, a model for uncommon transformation. The new council chairmen themselves assured that they were not ready for anything other than to follow closely in the footsteps of their mentor, the executive governor of the state, by trickling uncommon transformation to their respective domains fully integrate itself uh, to the administration of uh, Urban Bicycles in Akpabi. And by so doing, Akpabi State by 2015 will become a developed uh, state uh, amongst uh, other states in Nigeria. By the grace of God in my administration, we will try to keep it correct when it clean and maintain these facilities. And so many things, women empowerment, youth empowerment, we will empower so many so that they also may feel the impact of this government. I will not, in my own capacity as a chairman, do less than what His Excellency has done by also making sure that I key into the transformation policy of His Excellency in taking the job and its work to the local government area. Yes. Basically, for us as chairman, for me as a person, I mean, I've kept the example. And so, for me, I have no excuse not to perform. None of my colleagues will have an excuse not to perform, but we have been prepared by a performing government. Our job is to take the development to the rural areas. The governor has done so well. He has developed the state. So our own job as an elected chairman is to take the development to our various local government. The basics of uncommon transformation is education. I intend to produce 79 graduates for my people. He's an example to every young man, every youth in the world, which I intend to follow in that footsteps. My first uh, mission in Abak is peace. There's always this fracas between uh, the polit so-called politicians and stakeholders of Abak, which where there is peace, then there can be development. And this development, as I said earlier on, should be an example of the uncommon transformation that the governor has started already in the state, which I intend to give a similar thing, if not 100%, but at least it's something percent of it to the people of Abak. Everybody knows Akwabi because of the uncommon things he's doing in Akwabi. We are so proud of him everywhere in Nigeria, all over the world. You know, he's so popular, he's the best governor in Nigeria. He's a legend. You know, and we are so proud of him. And we are, we are going to emulate him because as you know, as he's doing, as we are going back to our local, various local governments, we are going to follow after his footsteps. We are going to empower people. We are going to, you know, do, bring about more development. We are going to develop our people, develop in Barenin. It's a new dawn from Barenin. Governor Akpabio may have executed new roads. Several new education and health facilities have been constructed and in some cases upgraded. New developmental projects are springing up across every nook and cranny of the state, fetching Akbabio several awards and honors by several renowned national and international organizations, the media and tertiary institutions. But the fact remains that these projects are all situated within the local governments and the onions of maintaining and ensuring optimal use of these projects resides basically on a focused and committed local government chairman. That is perhaps why Chief Akwabio deserves commendation for ensuring that, again, Akwabium has stood out as that state in Nigeria where local government administration is achieving results.